first contact directly with EJ. It was a very strange experience. I, um, I had met Tamara, so I kept hearing about this person, and she had introduced me to some ideas and books. And then I would go shopping, and I'd see, like, you know, practical work on self just showing up, and I thought that was kind of strange. And I was studying with Drew Crystal at the time, just a little bit, and I had started the process of seminary, which was another whole strange experience. So I'm at seminary, and I'm in this little room, and I have this dream, and it's EJ, apparently, but I don't really know him, but somehow I know it's him. But he's calling on a phone, but the phone is a salami. <laughs> And he's going, yes, pick it up. And I'm like, really? Okay. <laughs> so I did answer the salami phone. And <laughs> then he instructs me <laughs> to go get this book. And it was this journal. And on the front of the journal was a story about a pool. And so I see like this little book and the flashing red pool. I'm thinking, could this be right? You know, so I wake up, I remember this part, I write it down, I go to Borders, I find the journal, and there is the article <laughs> and the fool. So that was my first contact, and the <laughs> only person. It took me weeks before I could actually share it outwardly. <laughs> but that was my first contact. Okay. Excellent. Thank you. <laughs> Spooky! <laughs>